Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Nigel. I got a pretty quick video for you today and it's going to be all about sound treating a small YouTube studio like mine. Now I've been in this new apartment with my wife for about two months and my little YouTube studio that I have going on here is still a work in progress. And one thing that I know that I'm going to eventually do is move in some more furniture and maybe a rug and that will actually help you know, absorb some of the sound and, you know, get rid of a lot of the, the reverb and echo that I have going on in here. But for the time being, I wanted to find a solution to sound treating this office a little bit better. And I feel like one of the most popular and effective ways to doing this is putting a bunch of foam panels strategically all along your walls so that they'll absorb sound. But since I knew that, like, I just wanted it to be like a temporary solution until I got more stuff to like fill in this little room. I was trying to find a solution that wouldn't cost so much and I could easily take down when I no longer needed it. So what I found that a lot of people were doing was they would take these moving blankets and hang them up in their little studios and that would help absorb the sound and get rid of some of the reverb. So I looked into how much these cost and at my local hardware store, these were only $2.99 each. And so I bought four of them and I think they're 40 inches by 70 inches which is a pretty good size coverage for three bucks. So what I thought I'd do is I'd hang these around my office and see if it helps absorb the sound and get rid of some of the echo. What you're listening to right now is how my studio slash office normally sounds like. And there is a bit of echo, there is a bit of reverb. I've never really been too satisfied with how the sound sounds like in my YouTube videos recently when I'm filming in this office. So yeah, I'm just gonna, hang these up really simply. I think I'm just going to use some thumbtacks and we'll see if these super cheap moving blankets help absorb the sound and give me better audio when I'm filming these YouTube videos in my little office space. So basically my idea is I'm just going to use some simple thumbtacks and I'm just going to hang two of these on like the biggest section of the wall which I feel like has the most reverberation and then I'm going to hang one right over here on the other corner so that it kind of like, you know, catches the sound over here in the corner. Then I'm gonna hang the last one up near my desk, just slightly out of frame to kind of catch any of the echo to the side of me. So yeah. All right, so for this side, I didn't really wanna have something permanent here or even thumbtack it in because I get into this closet space a lot. So to attach, the moving blanket on this side. I'm just going to use some of these clamps and hopefully they'll hold it up there. Okay, so here we are back in the exact same setup, exact same mic, exact same settings in the camera. And now I have the moving blankets hung up on the wall. And to my ears, it actually sounds a lot better. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Nigel. I got a pretty quick video for you today and it's going to be all about sound treating a small YouTube studio like mine. I'm not sure if that's actually gonna come through in the audio of this video, but to my ears, it sounds less echoey in here, which if that's the case, then these really cheap moving blankets did the job. And yeah, obviously they're not the prettiest things to look at, but yeah, this is how much the audio can improve if you just hang some moving blankets up on your wall. And obviously there are some other factors that come into getting good audio in your videos. It is really important where you place the mic and what kind of mic you're using. But honestly, I feel like if these four blankets actually worked, then that's a pretty good way to spend $12. I don't know, what do you think? Does the audio now sound a lot better than it did in the first half of this video when I didn't have any of these moving blankets up? Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, I bought these for $2.99. I'm not sure how much they're gonna cost at the stores near you, but honestly, I doubt that they're gonna be really that much more expensive. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more content from me. There's also links in the description to a bunch of gear that I use and recommend. And there's also links to my Selfie if you wanna buy some of my $5 LUTs, my Teespring account if you wanna buy some merch and also my Patreon. And I'm actually gonna be uploading some private videos specifically for my Patreon supporters. There's gonna be some color grading walkthroughs, some behind the scenes videos on the gear that I use. So if you're interested in that, consider supporting me on Patreon. But anyways, again, Thank you so much for watching. You can click over here if you want to check out some of my other videos, but until next time, I will see you all later. Bye.